Hey guys, my name's Tanya, and I'm here to talk to you today about public relations. Oh my god, there's a fly. <laughs> okay, do I have to do that all over again? A press release is probably one of the most important tools you'll have in your toolkit. Ex an explanation of what it is that you guys do, whether you're holding a fashion show or you're releasing a product, it's more just a media alert, a way to reach the masses in sort of one quick take. I think the key thing you want to do first is come up with a really great angle. And you really want to make sure that yours sticks out. So finding an angle that's unique or tied to a cause or a trend is really important, but it's got to set itself apart and set your company apart from thousands of other people that may be pitching on that same subject or on the same day. So really, the best pub press release is the one that gets people talking. A great way to get your brand name out there is to try and tie it with the trend. So look at what's happening in the world, you know, whether it's something that's happening right now in the news. Uh, the key is to sort of research and see what's out there and how you can tie your brand or your company to something that exists or create a trend on your own. You know, it's a certain awareness month. Is there something you can do to support that and get your, your name and your brand out there? It is important to research the people you're pitching to and make sure they're the right person. Are they interested in your industry? Are they interested in your products? Are they interested in the type of services you offer? Um, knowing who it is that you're pitching to and then looking to build a relationship with them is a greater way to get noticed. Pop in a cool fact about them or something great you read. Reference an article they wrote. Hey, you wrote about X. We're talking about Y. <laughs> so this is a great example of innovation in public relations and marketing. Uh, this is something we do in April for the Know Thy Nuts campaign. April's Testicular Awareness Month and so it was sort of a cheap and incredibly cheerful way for November to remind guys to check themselves before they wreck themselves. Uh, it's soap on a rope, goes in the shower and every day you look at it and think, have I checked my testicles for cancer today? Um, so yeah, disruptive and exciting and very simple. Thank you.